Learning how to build wealth from nothing may seem unattainable, especially if you believe that wealthy people are born into it. Many people wish to be wealthy, but never take the necessary actions to build wealth. According to research published by WealthX in 2019, 68% of those with a net worth of 30 million or more are self-made. Rather than fantasizing about the fortune you wish you had inherited, take action today and learn how to create wealth from nothing. In this video, we'll look at 11 actionable steps you can do right now to start building wealth and achieve financial freedom. Welcome to Gray Skies Media, and we're here to help you invest in your future. Please do us a favor and hit that like and subscribe buttons for more content like this. What is wealth? Simply, wealth is an abundance of valuable assets, resources, or tangible goods. Wealth provides financial security to us and our family. It has the capacity to improve our lives and the lives of others around us. Yet for most, even though they desire wealth, it typically remains only a dream. Take into consideration the thought that rich people are committed to being rich. According to T. Harv Eker, author of Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, while poor people want to be rich. The difference between commitment and mere desire is important. Being wealthy doesn't typically just happen to most of us. We must take the necessary actions to build wealth, especially if we start with nothing. So, what are these actions we must take? Number one, become financially literate. Before we can truly approach any large transformations in our lives, we must always change our mindset. Everyone has the ability to build a financial arc to survive and flourish in the future, said Robert Kiyosaki, business magnate and author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. But you must invest time in your financial education to build an arc with a solid foundation. Thus, investing time in your financial education is the first step toward creating wealth from nothing. Learn the meanings of key terms such as income, expenses, net worth, return on investment, and passive income. Read books, listen to podcasts and interviews, enroll in courses, and subscribe to reputable financial education blogs. Remember that financial education, like any other type of education, must be ongoing. Never, ever stop learning. However, a word of caution is required here. Because of the ease of publishing information on the internet, there's a lot of false info out there. Follow only reputable blogs that provide truthful information and point you to resources from reputable and successful investors, business owners, and financial advisors. Number two, secure a reliable income. Seems obvious, right? It's difficult to build wealth from nothing if you don't have a steady income source. You can't invest unless you save money and you can't save money unless you have a steady income. Avoid people who pitch get-rich-quick programs that require only three hours per week of work. Sustainable wealth is built over time by creating value to others. So find a good job, and if you have a job, keep it. If you're a small business owner, continue to focus on creating more long-term value for your customers. Sell a better product for less money and is easier to obtain than your competitors. Number three, create a savings-focused budget and stick to it. It's a myth that budgeting is only for those in financial difficulty. Creating a budget and sticking to it is crucial if you want to build wealth from nothing. You need to create a budget to take control of how you're spending your money each month. To gain control over how you spend your money each month, you must create a budget. Every household should develop a monthly budget to identify expected income and estimated expenses. Living without a proper budget is akin to sailing without a compass, and you'll get lost in the seas of financial missteps. The 50-30-20 rule is a popular budgeting technique. Using this method, you can create a budget which is 50% of your income goes to necessities, rent, mortgage, food, and healthcare. 30% goes to non-essentials like shopping, vacation, and entertainment. And 20% goes to savings and investments. By cutting unnecessary costs, 
you can build wealth faster. If you're currently living beyond your means and are not saving to invest, you'll never build wealth. It's that simple. Number four, prioritize saving. In today's society, we are conditioned to focus our limited resources toward lifestyle instead of building wealth. Wealth is a sort of delayed gratification and true wealth creators live modestly by spending less than they can afford so that they can save for the future. According to Todd Tresseter of FinancialMentor.com, great wealth creators focus on both saving and earning more money. It has been said that poor people spend first and save what's left, and rich people save first and spend what is left. The 50-30-20 rule is a good place to start, but the truly committed will learn that they can save much more if they put in the effort. Remember, it's not about how much you make, but how much you keep. While 20% may sound like a lot, if you want to fast track wealth, you should set a goal to save 60 to 80% of your income. Building wealth from nothing takes sacrifice so you may invest wisely. And if you think frugality is stifling, the words of Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon, may provide food for thought. I think frugality drives innovation, just like other constraints do. One of the only ways to get out of a tight box is to invent your way out. Number five, insure yourself. For most, insurance is a necessary but unappealing expense, but it must be included in your budget. Insuring yourself and your main assets properties, cars, etc., protects you from massive losses in the event of a disaster. At the very least, you should have health insurance to avoid financial ruin in the unfortunate event of a costly disease. Homeowner and auto insurance are required essentials if you own a home and a car. Consider purchasing term life insurance if you have children or dependent relatives. Building wealth takes hard work and losing it due to anticipated situations would be terrible. So be proactive and insure your most important assets. Don't, however, over-insure. There are numerous insurance products on the market that are completely useless. Buying insurance can't change your life, but it prevents your life from being changed, said Jack Ma, founder of Alibaba and the richest man in China. You will not turn bankrupt because of buying insurance but you will cause your loved ones to turn bankrupt if you don't. Number six, create an emergency fund. Once you have completed your budget and have funds to save, create an emergency fund. An emergency fund functions similarly to self-funded insurance. It's money set aside for unforeseen expenses, such as car repairs and unforeseen circumstances such as a job loss. When unexpected expenses and unforeseen circumstances arise, you have two options, incur debt and or sell your investments. You pay interest on debt, and when you sell your investments, you lose both the amount sold and any market interest that could have been earned. An emergency fund should be sufficient to cover at least three to six months of your monthly expenses. An emergency fund, like insurance, will not make you wealthy, but it will keep you from selling your investments or incurring debt during an emergency. Number seven, invest. Once you have established an emergency fund, invest your money wisely according to your risk tolerance and financial capability. Saving for the sake of saving will not build wealth, and it's a myth that you need a substantial amount of money to get started. Investing includes buying bonds, stocks, and real estate. Most people find investing intimidating, and they avoid even learning about it. However, by delaying action, individuals forfeit the two most powerful drivers for accumulating wealth, investing time and compound interest. Do your research or contact a financial advisor to find the best options for you. Number eight. Apply and utilize leverage. Leverage is a more advanced investment strategy that makes use of borrowed funds. Leverage is also used by investors to increase their market purchasing power. It's the fundamental success principle that is responsible for wealth creation. 
You can amass more wealth through leverage than you ever could on your own. Using leverage isn't limited just to money though. You can use other people's time, technology, marketing, and networks. All assets that if used correctly can allow you to do more than your own resources allow. Number nine, invest in your education. Continuous learning is critical in so many ways. Aside from the confidence you gain from increasing your knowledge, the more time you devote to self-development, the more valuable you are to your employer or business. If you want to be successful in your career, education is the best option. Ongoing learning broadens your mind to new ideas and solutions, equips you with new skill sets, and, most importantly, helps you stay competitive in the job market. Your professional options are significantly more limited if you don't have a sufficient education. It takes time and effort, but the end result is well worth it. Personal development is essential even while working. One of the most effective ways to improve your financial future is to create a personal development plan. Number 10. Increase your income. If you're an employee and take action to improve your skills, you can earn promotions or get a better job from another company resulting in a higher income. If you own a business, improve your market understanding, innovate, and provide better value to your customers, which will increase your market share and earn more revenue. In addition to trying to increase your income through ongoing learning, wealth is built more quickly through multiple income streams. This also offsets financial risk if you lose your job or your business declines. While a side job certainly supplements your income, it also requires to physically work the shift, which reduces your free time for hobbies and family. Passive income generates money that doesn't require your continuous presence, unlike your job or business. Passive income is crucial for those of us learning how to build wealth from nothing. Some reliable and proven passive income ideas include blogging, rents from properties, selling online books and videos, and affiliate marketing to name a few. Quoting from Warren Buffett, If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Number 11. Manage your wealth like a business. Most people don't realize their dreams because they don't know what they really want. No one cares more about your financial well-being than you do. Thus, it's essential to create a strategy for yourself. You can develop it on your own or with the assistance of a trained financial planner. Manage your finances as if they were a business, because that is what they are. Your personal financial management business. True financial freedom is having the financial security and peace of mind that enables us to focus on the things that matter most. And in order to live a financially free life, you must actively manage that process. If you're just starting out, building wealth may seem like climbing Mount Everest, but by taking these steps, with the right commitment and discipline, building wealth is achievable. What do you think about the video? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on that bell icon so you never miss an upload. See you in the next one.